emotional intelligence habits is structured so that you have a section on what I call emotional intelligence at large. And this is how you might use emotional intelligence in your everyday life, how it impacts your relationships, your interactions with other people, your interactions with your family. The second half of the book is emotional intelligence at work. And this is focused specifically on how you can apply emotional intelligence uh, when you're on your job, let's say to become a better leader, have better working relationships, uh, deal with difficult coworkers, but it's also how you can use emotional intelligence to improve the organization and improve the culture of, of an organization based on emotional intelligence. Habits are the compound interests of self-improvement. When you work on micro behaviors, small things that are easy to implement every single day, you see big changes over time. And that's something that we've preached for a very long time that, that people do. I think this book bridges the gap by providing the actual tool, the actual specific behaviors that people can implement to realize these improvements. I've spent the last decade accumulating emotional intelligence habits, right? Specific strategies, micro behaviors that people can employ to improve their emotional intelligence. And that's what emotional intelligence habits is all about.